In episode 3, it could already be too late, Chase finally tells Zoe the truth about his past. Prior to that, in The Old Man Season 1 Episode 2, Chase needed a temporary hiding place to recover, so he rented a guest house in the countryside. To his surprise, however, the owner, Zoe, was present in the main house. She asked him to go when she found out about his pets, but he persuaded her to let him stay by cooking. They eventually went on a date and got closer, but because of his past, he had visions of harming her if she discovered who he really was. Harper and his team search for Chase's daughter, but discovered that she passed several years ago. Harper also discovers the reason why the 30-year-old case won't go away. Chase tries to leave Zoe, but stays to comfort her as his visions of his deceased ex-wife grow increasingly frequent and ominous. Harper engages a specialist to assist him contain Chase in the meanwhile. On the old man sees in one episode three, a nurse calls his grandma at the bus stop to discuss her medicine. He moves over to make place for a young woman waiting for the late 118 bus who is using crutches. When it does, he assists her in moving on before taking a call from Harold Harper. The man is Julian, the assassin. Joe tells Agent Waters at the FBI headquarters that they discovered Chase as a result of a regular police stop. When Harper cautions Waters that the story he is researching has a history of biting, Waters vehemently denies discussing Harper's past with Angela and acts rudely. The FBI then dispatches SWAT to go for Dan Chase. A younger Dan Chase once rode a black mount through a town and out of the mountains. He met with the young Ferris Hamzad and his family and discussed arming him with guns and giving him the mission of eliminating Russian paramilitary agents. Additionally, he acknowledged that the U.S. had not offered him any assistance. When Chase and Hamzad were alone, Chase talked about the rumors about Hamzad's worth and said he wanted to support him against the Soviet assault. Chase learned that the attractive woman who arrived was Hamzad's wife, another person he will need to persuade of his allegiance. Abby Chase, Dan's future wife, is shown as Hamzad's wife in the flashback. At Zoe's house, she and Peter talk about her difficult divorce and unsuccessful marriage. He tells her he has to go and asks if she wants to go with him as she gets up to start her day. He probes her on why she felt the need to tell a falsehood to the police about him when she stumbles. When Zoe learns that the police are hunting for Peter, she demands an explanation from him. She asks him whether she is in danger from Peter and not from somewhere else, after he gives her the spark notes explanation of battling on the wrong side of the border. She is unhappy about the lies when he says she can stay with him or go. Angry, Zoe is interrupted when Emily calls her father. Peter takes the call and Emily asks to talk to Zoe, who asks Peter not to come any closer to her. Zoe listens to Emily explain how she found out about her parents' past and how she at first was frightened by it all. According to Emily, her father set her mother free so that she might one day be free. As she tells Zoe that her father wants to protect others, the camera pans over to Emily, who is revealed to be Angela, Harold Harper's assistant. She explains to her that a name is just a name. However, Zoe demands that he leave before she returns because it is insufficient for her. As she makes her way to her car, while sobbing and upset, she overhears Peter's two dogs beginning to howl erratically. Peter and Julian fight in her kitchen as Zoe exits the house to look into the situation. Peter is defeated by Julian, but when Zoe lets Chase's dogs inside, they attack Julian. Peter gets up and shoots Julian before he can do any more damage after Julian manages to hurt one of the dogs. Zoe is terrified and tries to leave, but Peter informs her that things have changed and she must now come with him. At the FBI office Harper and Angela Emily awkwardly talk about the death of his son and daughter-in-law. Angela and Chip, Harper's son, are suggested to have been romantically involved. She also mentions how Agent Waters is despised by everyone and expresses concern over the illogical nature of his inclusion in the operation. The game Harper and Chase are playing is one they've played before, and according to Harper, it's not for the timid. The agents notice a car leaving Zoe's home on the cameras keeping an eye on it. Chase arrives on the scene and gets ready to take down the drone with a silenced sniper rifle. In a flashback, Hamzid and his wife talk about his effort to win the public's trust. He presents her to John, Chase, since she is committed to the cause. She warns Hamzid that she feels this is a bad idea after recognizing him as CIA. She queries John about his plans for them. John offers to shoot Russian officers from a distance of 1,000 yards after she rejects his offer of weaponry and tactical maneuvers. He blasts the FBI drone out of the sky while still in the present. 
Agent Waters threatens Harper and Angela at the FBI office because he thinks they are assisting Chase. Harper retaliates right away, revealing Agent Waters as a Ferris Hamzid created ruse. If Hamzid hand selected an agent, Harper believes he must be confused. In front of a furious Angela, he discloses that Dan Chase abducted Ferris Hamzid's wife 30 years ago. Angela passionately argues that Chase's tale is more nuanced than that. She proposes that they ask Hamzid what questions he needs clarified, but both of the guys are taken aback by her zeal and Harper. When the SWAT team arrives at Zoe's residence at that time, it is empty. Agent Waters personally threatens Angela as the FBI is watching the cameras, telling her that, if she has secrets, he will uncover them and use them against her. Careful what you wish for, he spooky whispers in her ear, before leaving to arrange a meeting with Hamzid. Harper is meanwhile giving her a dubious gaze. Julian, who has a gunshot wound, and another man are waiting patiently for SWAT to leave in a van nearby. Peter, Chase, is having another flashback while driving Zoe's car to an open area in the Highlands, this time of another encounter with Hamzid's wife. Abby confided in John, Chase, about her family and her mistrust of Americans and the CIA. John assured her that he was not a monster because the firearms he requested were delivered via parachute as she prepared to defend her husband from U.S. machinations. 